Good evening, it's 13 minutes past eight. Uh, the moon is full. It's about the third day of the full moon, so it's just waning now. Uh, I am in the shooting shed at the cattle farm. Now, I can't remember if I've been here since February when I had my right hip changed, but I'll look on the calendar and I'll put it down in the bottom of the screen here. So I've got the 243, on top of that is the Sightmark Wraith 4K Pro, and the illumination I'm using tonight is the PBIR laser. Reason I haven't got the ludicrous lumens, I have lent it to somebody so they can try out for themselves this weekend. So I'm gonna plan on to do is a couple of hours here. The farmer has literally just finished and gone in. So he's cleared all the bales from this field and he's cleared the bales in the field over to the right. So plan, two, four, three in here for a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna wander around with the 17 HMR, which has got my Stella two on it. So. That's the plan. Um, if it all changes, then uh, we'll just sort of take it as it comes. But thanks for joining me. I'll see you later on. Hi. Well, this is the only shot I take with the 243 due to self-inflicted technical problems. Let's leave it at that. Well, that was a bit of a calamity. I've put the Vixen in heat call on, picked my spotter up, and there was a fox attacking the caller. Literally, it was attacking the caller. It then ran off. Um, the bulb or the battery on my PVIR, obviously I haven't changed that for a long time, ran out just as I was lining up on the fox. So I put the rifle down, changed the bulb, kept an eye on the fox, he was still there. Put a new bulb in there and shot the fox. Uh, honestly, that was literally seconds from when I turned it on. Well, I put the 243 away and say there, everything now is on 17 HMR. This is the first field behind my shed. I do apologise for the wind. It was very gusty this night. Just getting lined up on these. In the background, I could hear something coming. Our friends from the RAF are out testing tonight or flying low in three helicopters. Merlins, I think they were, but I'm sure somebody will tell me otherwise. Nice to see, they're not actually shooting like they do where Robin lives. Upset some of the rabbits, but actually brought them into a little closer pocket for me. Remember, I've got a five shot magazine on the lift gal. Let's see if we can take care of these fellas. Quite a warm evening, so that's probably why the picture's a little bit degraded. Wind. There's me moaning about the wind. It was gusty, not very helpful. One shot left. Sorted. Right, I'll leave those where they are. Have a wander around, and I saw this chap over in the distance there. Give him a Jethro squeak and then he comes. Wind is coming diagonally from my left hand side, so if he comes hey. further, he's probably going to smell me. Over with that little interlude and back on now with the bunnies.
for some reason the auto record didn't work on that. That's a fox that's just coming across from I'm gonna come back and see where I am. Got a shed there. There's fox. It's there. The second fox is in the field that I've studied now. I'm not going to risk it this time. I'm referring to, I've switched on the manual record button and while I walked around to pick those rabbits up, I'd actually left the scope on a power bank for about 25 minutes. So it was almost out of power. So that's probably why the auto record function failed to operate. This was the very first rabbit of the night. I was about 22 yards away from the shed and before I started my long walk around the farm. So coming up is some very interesting footage from Dean in Wales of a hornet's nest in a tree where he was sat shooting squirrels. And I think he kept his distance to be fair, but uh, I know hornets aren't particularly very nice. Uh, Robin and I had quite a horrible experience with one in the forest of Dean that got into the car. Um, they don't like head torches, so if you're out in the dark, certainly don't put a torch on, or they will come to you. Well, that's just about it for the 17 HMR action. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video and found the content useful, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. And I'll see you again for some more footage coming up from the DNT Thermite Scope.